Hi everybody, it's Drew here with Drewcifer's Idiocracy. Um, sorry I haven't been posting fo uh, photos, videos as regularly as I used to, um, but I just got inspired on what to start making my videos about every day. So hopefully I'll get back to making one every day um, so you all can see my face since you apparently love it so much that 255 of you subscribed. Wink. Anyways, um, so... Um, well, first of all, let me show you what I'm working on right now. Those of you who have been in my lives recently will have already seen this, but I'm working on Bag of Day Crochet's um, Taste of Honey shawl. And it's got lots of bobbles. Lots and lots of bobbles. Which are sometimes a big pain in the butt to do. But um, that's what I'm working on right now. It's coming along pretty fast. I've only been working on it a couple days. Um, and uh, I'm just really looking forward to finishing a project because I have so many projects I'm in the middle of. And um, I'm just, I hate jumping around back and forth because then I never actually complete anything. So I'm ready for this to be done so I can have, have finally completed something. Um, so I don't know when I'll get back to that sleeveless um, hooded vest, but, um, it's probably going to be a hot second. Um, cause that doesn't need to be ready until like this fall. And I have another fall project that I need to start working on as well. So, um, and that one should go pretty fast, although it's meant for a woman. So I need to figure out how to do it for a man. I have, I have a friend from England and he kind of finagled it that he thinks is okay. I just need someone to, to double check his, um, his math to make sure, Oh, excuse me, that I make something big enough for myself. So, um, I, uh, can't wait for you guys to see that one. Cause that one's super cute. And I've had the yarn for that one for a long time. So I need to get to it. Um, but anyways, what I wanted to share about, um, is something that's been going on with me recently. And that is that, my niece and nephew have been staying with us um, because my uh, brother and sister-in-law are celebrating their anniversary by going camping. And, um, and they're down along the Red River in Southern Oklahoma and uh, near the Arkansas border, apparently. Um, and so they're, they're, they, left, they left Thursday, I think, or maybe my niece and nephew have been staying with us since Thursday, and it's now Saturday. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of them spending time with us, so tonight will be the last night. And God love my niece and nephew. I love my niece and nephew, but I'm ready for them to go home. <laughs> um, they are very energetic, and we're having to watch a lot of kid shows. We have four TVs in this house and at any given time at least one if not two of them are taken up with kids shows so it's um it's a little hard to get to you know watch something that I want to watch without being secluded in my room which makes my mom upset so and that's another thing within itself um but I've been spending a lot of time in my room um and it's not like they're bad or annoying. They're not ill-behaved kids. But um, what I love about the, the most about them is that they go home whenever they come over to visit us. Or whenever we go over to visit them, I can leave anytime I want. So being stuck under the same roof with them for this long is just very exhausting. Very exhausting. Um, but I try to be a good uncle and play and... Um, you know, be, be fun for them, but there's just sometimes I'm like, I need my adult time. I need to watch something where people get murdered and there's lots of blood and lots of sex and they can't watch it with me. So, <laughs> um, I, um, you know, you can't help current circumstances. And like I said, I don't hate it. It's just, I'm getting ready for them to go home and they still have one more day here. 
So, um, you know, it's, with all my nieces and nephews, I love all of them. Um, and I, but I don't think with any of them I could spend this much time with and not feel the same way. So it has nothing to do with these specific niece and nephew, um, with this specific niece and nephew. It's just, I think, I'm not a kid person. Oh, I know I'm not a kid person. But, um, like other people's kids, I tend to hate. And the ones that are related to me, I'm cool with. But in small increments. Um, I've never really been one to be like, I want kids. Or like, you know, anything like that. Because I just, I can't, I can't handle it. There's just, there's so much energy and so much crap you have to give up to have a kid. And I think even if I were married to somebody, I still wouldn't want kids. Because I know that would, that would mean someone else to help take care. But still, I, I do not have the gumption. I don't have the patience. I do not have the willpower to power through something like that. Because... You know, kids are kids until they're out of the house. You know, like, if, so if you have a kid that's 18 years per kid, that you have to be a good role model, a good person, not mistreat them, which I'm, I'm not saying I would mistreat kids. I would not mistreat kids. But it's just, my filter would have to really come on the things that I say out loud. I've cussed in front of my niece and nephew here um, accidentally. And I only said um, the other word for poop. That's all I said. But my mom says that more than I do. So it's, I, I don't feel bad for letting that slip a time or two. Because she says it all the time. Um, and my, my nephew, um, nephews from when I lived in Missouri, in St. Louis, um, they lived down the street from us and, um, they heard my mom say that word a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And luckily they never picked it up, but, um, it was, you know, it was just funny. My mom gets on me for my cussing, but she can't stop saying the S word. <laughs> so, um, you know, it is what it is. When it comes to the cussing around kids, you, sometimes you can't help it, you know. Um, but it's um, um, not very being a good grown-up, I guess, when that happens. So, um, yeah, I try my best. And with all my nieces and nephews, I love them all so much. Um, you know, so it's when I when I said earlier that I, I couldn't stand more than a few days with any of them. That's not what I meant. I'm just saying if for the amount of time that my niece and nephew have been staying with us, I would probably still feel the same way of, all right, ready for you to go home or, you know, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> um, not this last Thanksgiving, but our first Thanksgiving in this house. Um my sister um, from California, the one who had lived in St. Louis down the street from us, but she moved to California, which is why we moved back here to Oklahoma because my parents wanted access to grandchildren. Um, but she came with her family for Thanksgiving, that first Thanksgiving that we were in this house, and she was here for over a week. And let me tell you what, by like day four, I was like so ready for them to leave. Because we had to watch this stupid movie called Gnome Alone. It was a little cartoon about gnomes that come through a portal. And this girl has to help kill them. And she... Or, uh, no, it's not gnomes. It's little creatures. The gnomes help fight the creatures. That's what it was. Anyways, we usually watched it at least twice, if not three times a day. Uh, so count that up. Seven days... At uh, two to three times, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> a lot to see the same movie. And sometimes as soon as the movie was over, we'd, we'd restart it right then. It wouldn't be like an hour would go by and my nephew would be like, I want to watch it again. It would be immediately. 
And I complained about it one day, and my sister goes, welcome to my life. And then whenever my sister was leaving, I, I still feel terrible about saying this because I think it actually hurt her feelings. So I was like, hey, Rachel, I'm so glad you guys are leaving because I do not want to watch that movie one more time. And she goes, okay. <laughs> it's like, but it was the same thing. I was, I was to the point that I can only be annoyed by children for so long before it gets to me. And by the end of that seven days, it got to me. Um, like my niece and nephew right now, I'm fine. It's just, I'm ready for them to go home. Um, but with having to watch that movie over and over and over every day, I was like, I was, could not wait to get out of here or get them out of here. Um, and like I said, I feel bad for making my sister feel bad whenever it was time for them to leave. And I said, I'm glad that they were leaving. I didn't mean I was glad that they were leaving. I was just saying, I'm glad I was glad I don't have to watch that movie ever again. You know, and last time we saw them, he was over that movie. He had moved on to Moana, I think. And so I, I could watch Moana on repeat all day long. I love that. I love that uh, cartoon. But um, it was just, I could not stand that movie. And it had this song that they played partway through the movie. And then the ending credits was always that song. Um, and they would play the credits all the way through before, because my nephew liked the song. Um, so they would play the credits all the way through before starting it over again. Um, it's just, I don't know. I couldn't have a young kid. If I had to deal with that day in and day out, I would probably, actually, I, I, I can honestly say, I think I might end it. <laughs> Me. Not, not them. Me. I don't have the gumption for it. And I think if after a couple months of having to watch the same things over and over and over again, I would just be like, all right, this is the end. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do this. So I, you know, don't have to put up with it anymore. So, um, and I'm not one, I don't, I'm not joking about suicide. It's not something that anyone should joke about. Um, but I am being serious that for myself, it, it could probably come up because I have had suicide attempts in the past and um, I sometimes still feel suicidal. Um, so I'm not joking saying I would kill myself like it's something I'm saying lightly and joking about it. I just mean it could probably get to that point if I had my own kids that I would be like, nope, time for the end. Uh, sorry to be morbid, by the way. I'm not meaning to be. That's not where I wanted to go with this video. Um, but yeah, it's it's like... Um, I lost my train of thought. I don't know what it's like. Oh, I haven't done this yet on this video. And we're back with Drucifer's Idiocracy on D1077 with London Fog. <sighs> Anyways, I think I'm going to end it here. I can only complain about kids for so long that I'm related to without probably pissing off my siblings if they watch this. Because I know Aaron watches this. So Aaron, I love your kids. I think you're doing an amazing job raising them. Um, and I like that they're older so I can like talk to them like they're adults. Um, and they talk back like they're adults and that's awesome. <laughs> so, um, it's mostly just the under the age of 10 ones that are hard to deal with. So anyways, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching today and oh, well, any day that you watch this, it doesn't have to be the day I release this, I guess. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.